Hello viewers, welcome you all to my channel. I am Hashim Ali Khan here. Presently, I am discussing the subject cost accounting. In this subject of cost accounting, we are doing the problems on material costing. So already, I have uploaded the introduction part of this material costing. I have explained you in detail regarding the techniques available for controlling, managing the material cost. So if uh, my regular uh, viewers, I hope you have all watched the previous videos on theory on uh, material costing and I have solved nearly 10 short problems on material costing and almost 9 main problems we have solved on material costing. So if you are regularly watching, definitely you might have got a good command on the topic of material costing. If you are new to my channel, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel. I have uploaded a number of videos on different subjects like financial accounting, advanced accounting, corporate accounting, business statistics, financial management, investment management, etc. So select your concerned subject, watch the complete video, get a good command on your subject. Now I am going to start the next problem on material costing. But before that I expect my viewers that you have a hard copy print out of all the problems of material costing which I have provided in the link under my description. So take a print out, be ready in watching the video on materials. I am starting the next problem that is problem number 10. See the problem carefully. The following quotation is received from a supplier in respect of material. So we want some material, we have issued the tender and in response of the tender we have received a quotation from the supplier. So what is the quotation? The lot prices are 1000 units 5 rupees each, 2000 units 4 rupees 75 each and 3000 units 5, 4 rupees each. Normally what will happen the supplier will give quantity discount. If we place the order in bulk quantity we will get a reduced discounted price. So the supplier has quoted that three different prices are there 5 rupees, 4 rupees 75 paisa and 4 rupees. If we order only 1000 units, we'll get 5 rupees each. If we order for 2000 units, we'll get 4 rupees 75 paisa each. If we order 3000 units, we'll get at 4 rupees each. Secondly, trade discount 25%. Trade discount will be deducted from the purchase cost. Then freight charges per order 100 rupees. Containers are charged at 50 paisa each. One container is required for 100 units. See, the supplier will supply the material in containers and he will make charges for the containers. How much are the charges, uh, charges for one container 50 paisa 0 0.50 one container and in one container 100 units can be packed. So in one container 100 units, 100 units require one container and one container cost 50 paisa. And if the containers are re returned within 10 months, credit would be received at rupee 20 paisa each. Normally after getting the material in containers, we can return the containers back to the supplier. Then supplier will give a credit of 20 paisa each. First of all, he will charge 50 paisa per container. Afterwards, when we return the container back to the supplier, we will get 20 paisa each credit. Now. Calculate the material cost for 3000 units assuming that the purchaser decided to purchase this lot. Suppose our requirement of material is 3000 units. So we have to find out what is the material cost for 3000 units purchased from the supplier. What is the ultimate material cost? See here, first we take the purchase cost. From purchase cost we subtract the trade discount. After subtracting the trade discount we add the freight charges. We add the container charges, 50 paisa per container. Similarly, when we return the containers, we'll get a credit. So subtract, subtract the credit for containers returned. In this way, we can be able to get the material cost, right? So the solution of this problem will be like this. Calculation of material cost, purchase cost of material. We are purchasing 3000 units and the cost per unit is 4 rupees given in the problem. So 3000 into 4, 12,000 rupees is the purchase cost. From purchase cost, we subtract trade discount. Trade discount is given in the problem 25%. So 25% of 12,000, 3000 rupees subtract. We'll get 9,000 rupees after trade discount. To this, we add five charges 100 rupees. So 9,100 is the total charges plus container charges. 
Now see here, for 100 units, one container is required. But we are purchasing how many units here? 3000 units. For 3000 units, how many containers we require? So 3000 divided by 100 into 1, you will get 30 containers. 30 containers are required for a material of 3000 units. So each container, what is the cost? 50 paisa, 0 0.50 rupee. So 30 into 0 0.50, you will get 15 rupees container charges. Now you add up 9100 plus 15 rupees, 9115. Now within a specific period, we have to return back the customer containers to the supplier. He will get, he will give some credit. So within a certain period, we are returning the containers back to the supplier. We are getting a credit. So credit for containers returned. So 30 containers. Already how many containers we have taken? 30 containers we have taken. Now we are returning 30 containers. Each container 20 paisa is giving the credit. He is giving the credit 20 paisa means 0 0.20 rupee. So 30 into 0 0.20, 6 rupees credit we are getting. So subtract 6 rupees. So 9115 minus 6, 9109. This is the total cost of material of 3000 units. That's it. So this is the problem number 10. Now I am explaining you the problem number 11. See, the following details are available in respect of a consignment of 1250 kilogram of material X. That means we are purchasing a material, material X. The total quantity of material is 1250 kilogram. So what are the details? A. Invoice price 20 rupees per kilogram. So per kg 20 rupees. How many kilogram we are purchasing? 1250. So 1250 into 20. You will get the total invoice price of material. Excise duty 25% on invoice price. So whatever invoice price we get to that we add 25% excise duty and sales tax c point sales tax eight percent on invoice price including excise duty so first you take the invoice price to this you add excise duty on the total you have to add sales tax at the rate of eight percent then trade discount ten percent of invoice price trade discount will be deducted trade discount will be deducted from the purchase price uh, from the invoice price insurance 1% of the aggregate net price after deducting trade discount we'll get the aggregate net price of that aggregate net price we calculate 1% insurance charges then delivery charges 250 rupees and cost of containers here also the material is packed in containers so container charges will be added how much container charges? 60 rupees per container for 50 kilogram of material. So in one container, 50 kilogram can be packed. So for 50 kilogram, one container we require. How many kilo? How much kilogram we are purchasing? 1,250 kilogram. How many containers? So 1,250 divided by 50. 1,250 divided by 50. You will get 25 containers. 25 containers. So each container costs 60 rupees. So 25 containers into 60 rupees. That are the container charges. And rebate is allowed 40 rupees per container if returned within 6 weeks, weeks, which is a normal feature. Now the supplier has given the advantage that within 6 weeks, if the containers are returned back to the supplier, he will give a rebate. He will give a credit of 40 rupees per container. One container load of metal was rejected on inspection and not accepted. So out of the total of 25 containers, one container material is rejected, returned back to the supplier. Cost of loading, unloading and handling 0.25% of the cost of material ultimately accepted. So loading, unloading, handling charges are 0.25%. Then on the basis of the above, you are required to find out the landed cost per kilogram of material X. Ultimately, we have to find out what is the cost per kilogram of material. That's all. So one by one, we'll take calculation of landed cost of material per kilogram. Landed means ultimately net. 
net cost per kilogram of material. So first of all, we will take the invoice price. It is given invoice price 20 rupees per kilogram. How many kilograms we are purchasing? 1,250 kilograms. So invoice price 1,250 kilograms into 20 rupees, you get 25,000 rupees total. We have also opened one column per unit column, per kilogram column. Unit ka matlab kilogram. So per unit column, because it is ultimately asking you to calculate what is the landed cost of material per kilogram. That's why I have opened per unit. So 25,000 rupees is the total. So 25,000 rupees divided by 1,250, you will get 20 rupees per kilogram is the invoice price. To this we add excise duty. It is given in the problem, excise duty is 25% of invoice price. So invoice price 25,000. 25,000 cut 25% 6,250 add up 6,250 now we need per kilogram so 6,250 divided by 1,250 kilogram total quantity of material purchases 1,250 kilogram so divide 6,250 divided by 1,250 you will get 5 rupees per kilogram now you add up so invoice price plus excise duty the total is 31,250 25 rupees now I am taking sales tax it is given sales tax is 8% of invoice price plus excise duty the total of invoice price plus excise duty uska 8% sales tax what is the total here 31,250 is the total so 8% of 31,250 you will get 2,500 so 2500 is the sales tax now divide 2500 divided by 1250 kilogram you will get 2 rupees per kilogram now add up add kado so 33750 after adding sales tax sales tax add karne ke 33750 27 rupees per kilogram that is the total from this we subtract trade discount it is given trade discount is 10% of invoice price. So what is the invoice price here? 25,000. 10% 10 of 25,000, 2,500. 2,500 is a trade discount. Subtract. Now per kilogram you have to find out. 2,500 divided by 1250. 1,250. 2 rupees. Subtract because 31,250 is the aggregate net price. Aggregate net price is 31,250. And 25 rupees per kilogram. This is the aggregate net price. To this we add insurance. It is given insurance at the rate of 1% on net aggregate price. So net aggregate price 31,250 is 1% 312.5. Now divide the 312.5 divided by 1,250 kilogram. You get 0 0.25. Uh, add the 31,250 plus 312.5. 31,562.5. And this is 25.25. Now to this we add delivery charges. In the problem it is given delivery charges 250 rupees. Directly given. So we add delivery charges 250. And 250 divided by 1250. 1250. You are going to get 0.20. Now add the delivery charges. 31,812.5, 25 25.45. To this we have to add cost of containers. 50 kilograms we require one container. For 50 kilogram, we require one container, but we are purchasing 1,250 kilogram. So how many containers are required? So 1,250 divided by 50. 1,250 divided by 50, you will get 25 containers. 25 containers we require and each container costs 60 rupees. So 60 rupees into 25 containers into 60 rupees, you will get 1500 rupees is the container cost divided by 1250 1250 per container per kilogram 1 rupee 20 paisa per kilogram container cost add up the 33312.5 26 26.65 after adding container cost now one container is rejected cost of material return one container cost is returned back return back to the supplier so what is the cost of one container this is the total cost 33,312.5 this is the total cost of 1,250 kilogram 1,250 kilogram ka total cost 33,312.5 a one container contains 50 kilogram that 50 kilogram 
metal was returned. So we calculate 50 divided by 1250 into 33,312.5. So one container ka cost is 1332.5. 1332.5 is the cost of one container which is returned back. So subtract kar denge cost of metal return back. So 31,980 is the cost 26.65. You should not calculate per kilogram here. These are the material return. Now cost of handling. It is given cost of loading, unloading, handling are 0.25%. 0.25% So 0.25% of 31,980 You are going to get 80 rupees 80 rupees is the cost of loading, unloading, handling So divided by 1200 kilogram We will not take 1250 Because 50 kilogram material was returned back Now we are having only 1200 kilogram So 80 divided by 1200 You will get 0 0.07 Now you add up 32,060 26.5 now minus credit for containers returned credit or rebate for containers returned how many containers we are returning now 24 totally we have purchased 25 containers but one container was rejected earlier one container had already been rejected now remaining containers we are having 24 containers and each container there is a rebate of 40 rupees so 24 containers into 40 rupees you will get 960 rupees is the container rebate minus 960 31,100 and 960 divided by 1200 kilogram 960 divided by 1200 kilogram 0 0.80 subtract 31,100 is the total landed cost of material this is the total but it is asking you per kilogram so per kilogram it comes to 25.92 This is the landed cost of material per kilogram That's what This is the end of problem number 11 So totally 11 problems we have completed on material cost